What's going on, y'all? So What's going on? So we are back for another episode review of Black and Crew Chicago. Um, what episode is this? Episode eight, season three. Surprise, I'm pregnant. Bitch, let's just go there. So Don It's what the fuck you get, nigga. Listen, Don come home and he see Ashley in the crib. She done brought a whole bunch of shit online shopping. The bitch ain't got shit else to do but to watch the kids. And, you know, when they go to sleep and shit in their school, let me just go play on the fucking internet because she ain't got no job no more. She literally quit her job just because she wanted to spend more time. Girl, this is the real fucking world. You supposed to help out, okay? This ain't no 1950s where, um, you know, you don't have to work and just let the husband work. No, okay? Y'all got mouths to feed, okay? Mouths, okay? She buying shit that they don't need in that little ass house unless y'all finna get a bigger house because I don't see how all three of y'all finna be up in that house with a new baby on the way. He looking like, what the fuck, bitch, okay? And then, um... You know, after that, she gives him a little present and opens up the box and it's uh, a paternity test, okay? Well, a pregnancy test. I said paternity, bitch. That was last season. <laughs> a paternity test, a p- fucking pregnancy test, okay? The pregnancy test was telling them that, you know, we pregnant again and we already discussed that shit last week. They just had the baby shower a week before, so, um, you know, there's that. They going uh, shopping for, did you see how he started sweating? She was like, oh my gosh, you like the news so much. Said, Look how bad you sweat here. I know you was so, I said, no, bitch. He's thinking about how the fuck he going to calculate and take care of this shit. That's what he looking, that's where the sweat coming from. Because the shit wasn't planned, okay? Most pregnancies, especially if you're married, they're not planned, all right? You know, you get you get it in and you do what you do. You marry, you know, that's what happens. And the baby pop up sometimes, okay? Sometimes the shit is very unexpected. So, that's what it was. But, they go shopping for strollers and shit. I said, Ashley, you out your goddamn mind. Let me just tell you this. There's this thing called living um, at your means, okay? And what you're doing is living above your means, all right? Don may appear to have some type of money, but I am so glad Don tried to reel that shit in and said, bitch, I just started, you know, piercing and stuff like that. Now, if I had like 50 clients and shit coming in back to back, wanting to get pierced all the time, then yeah, I'd be cool with what you're trying to do right now. But baby, I'm trying to stack this paper for all of us, okay? It ain't just about what you want and it ain't just about what I want. It's about what's good for the household. I said, bitch, Don be having his moment where he be coming through and I be sitting here like, you right, you right. I didn't expect it to come out your mouth, but you right. All right, because they went to this baby boutique, bitch. I said, take your ass to motherfucking Walmart. And if you really want to be bougie about it, take your ass to Target, okay? And get a fucking stroller that probably costs between the ranges of, if you want to go all the way up, bitch, $100 or less. If you want to go there, bitch. You know, and, and it's some durable shit, okay? I don't believe in paying no $529 for a stroller. $13.95 for a uh, stroller. Bitch, for what? That stroller better cook me dinner, breakfast, and fucking lunch, okay? That stroller better fucking pay some bills and all that shit. That stroller better watch the kids and call me when something's going on, okay? That's what the fuck that shit better do. That stroller better be used by that child until the day he turns 30, okay? That's what that stroller better be doing for 500 some dollars Thirteen hundred some dollars, bitch. Get the fuck out of here, and you ain't got no job paying for it. Stop it, stop it. Don had to put a pause on that shit real quick. So the other storyline, Nikki and Four. All right, I don't give a fuck what nobody say. They should have let Janelle and Nikki fight last week. I really wanted to see that because Janelle really ran through them fucking securities and producers like, bitch, what the fuck up? I mean, titties out and everything. She was like, you ain't going to do shit. You ain't going to do shit. Bitch, what the fuck is up? I said, oh, let them fight. You know, when a deep voice come through, it was just like, goddamn. They're like, she probably would have gave Nikki a run for her money. That would have been a match to see, you know. But um, after that, you know, four is in the studio. Nikki comes down there. She and her feelings, four and her feelings, his feelings. 
Four and his feelings because of what happened. Nikki and his and her feelings because Four has not really been talking to her. And I'm just sitting here like, Four, get over it. Nikki, get over it. Because, you know, some people was like, don't, don't get me wrong. This is the only, the only incident with Nikki snapping off that I am here for, okay? Because I don't fuck with, I don't, Janelle is still suspect. I don't give a shit. I need to see the actual DNA test and the te papers that said you are 99.9%, .9%, you know, related or somebody in your family, y'all got some common traits because that means that y'all related somehow, you know? Um, But other than that, no, 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 okay? And I, you know, felt like Nikki was doing what she needed to do because like for uh, eventually stay later on in the episode, he is just so easy to let people up in his life because he's searching for a certain thing. You know, he need that family connection and love and all that stuff. He's not trying to really filter shit out. He's just accepting everybody, you know? And so you need a bitch like Nikki up in your life that's going to filter that shit out for your ass. And that's what she was trying to do. He kind of came at her. And I see both sides. I really honestly do. You know, he was like, bitch, you need to kind of fuck down. You always interjecting and shit and, um, you know, escalating shit. What'd she do? What'd she do? do but like i said i was here for last week so what the fuck ever and then you know she was like crying before i be sitting here trying to look at me you and everything and i just be worried about you it was like well why are you crying why you need to worry about me because you just be letting any and everybody up in your life and i'd be like no these motherfuckers be trying to use you because you're on this show and you are artist and you doing this and i said she cared about him for a minute Okay, I see it. I will give Nikki this. She is actually a hairstylist. You know, she got her spot up there. I will say the bitch ain't never came on the show with a bad weave. I said, you know what? You take your profession to fucking heart. So I will give you that. Give Janelle some pointers on how to secure that shit. Okay? But, you know, they get over their little shit and they talking. Um, He was just, you know, he's just in his head about this whole thing. His father died not knowing his people. Um, people coming at him left and right, so he just needed a little space and all that shit. She understood, so they all to the fucking good. Um, what else is going on on this show? Bone Thugs and Harmony coming on here to get a tattoo, right? <laughs> so, when Ryan came into the shop, he was like, Yo, I got some legends coming up in here. You know, if you from the 90s or whatever, you're going to know who this is. Some of y'all probably not going to know nothing about this. It was like, who it is? Who it is? I bet you we know. Bone Thugs and Harmony. It was like, bitch, I know Bone Thugs. I was born in the 90s and all that shit. Bone, 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 bone. what you going to do when it ain't nowhere to hide? At the, mm, the, mm, mm, that. I used to know the whole fucking rap. And I'm going to miss everybody. At least you know the melody, bitch. Okay? You can't say, you know, bitch, bone thugs, you know. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the first of the month. Yeah. Listen. Come through. Come through. Okay? Bone. If they said, bitch, do you know where they um from? Somebody said New York. Then they said L.A. And then it was like, well, they was with Easy e I mean, of course, yeah. And he was like, you only know that shit because of um, the Straight Outta Compton movie. I said, bitch, they from the fucking Midwest. Okay? Not from Chicago, but Cleveland. I said, oh, my God. Oh, my God, you guys are so stupid. But, you know, this is how this younger generation is, I will say. You know, and it's just, mind you, we all in the same age group. So, how the fuck I know this shit and y'all know? God damn it, bitch. One of my um granddaddy's cousins. Uh, sang on the hook of one of the Bone Thugs and Harmony songs. I gotta find which song it was, but she was the one, and it's the one of their popular songs that came out too when they first came out on their first album. Damn, I gotta remember that song. I'll come back to it later. I'll let y'all know. But my granddaddy cousin uh sang on that shit. I said, Damn, granddaddy, because his people all the way from where they at, you know. So I said, Oh, okay. You know, do you. I hope she got the change from it. So they were going to do a consultation with them and, you know, have them come in. Charmaine was like, ding, 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 good idea. Since they going to come in, let me do this interview with them so I can try to get back with WGCI. So they come in and, um, you know, it was just uh, Busy Bone, Crazy Bone. And I was like, wait a minute, Crazy Bone up here talking about some, you know, these motherfuckers this and drinking and all this shit. Now, ain't nobody say Jehovah's Witnesses can't drink and shit like that. But, you know, they don't cuss and do all that stuff. Huh? And he's a tired when he came in. I was like, 
I got you converted to Jehovah Witnessism. You know, um, I guess you through with that. I didn't know that his people was Jehovah Witness at first, too. And he used to be there. Then he came back. But I remember seeing a picture of him at the assembly and everything with his suit on and his name tag. I said, bitch, for real? I guess that's over and done with. I mean, shit happens. But, hey, life goes on. Charmaine actually do secure the, um, when they ask, uh, <laughs> Lily, did she know? Lily was like, I don't know who know. I said, bitch, take her out of here. You from Chicago and you don't know. But um, anyway, Charmaine do get a little interview with them. And, you know, she did a good job. She did a good job. They were enthused and, you know, talking about how one got nine kids, the other one got eight kids. And he said, if you count non-biological bitch, that's 22. I said, what? Me and Charmaine at the same time said, bitch, what? Let me do that. Oh, eh. oh, okay. okay. Non-biological. So you claiming other people's kids? Oh, I mean, you do what you do, okay? You know, he reminded me when they said all that shit about them kids. Well, I will never forget this interview that just happened recently with Pretty Ricky on The Breakfast Club and Slickum. His ass was drunk as shit, and they kept giving him alcohol. He drank that whole fucking bottle, and I said, bitch. And he was talking about all them kids that he got that he know of, okay? I said, fuck myself, lady. <laughs> you know, motherfuckers will get fucked by anything, okay? You cannot tell me that there is not one person. I don't give a fuck how ugly or how big, how skinny, how fucked up you may be. It's somebody out here in this world that's willing to fuck the shit out of you and put a baby in you too. I'm just fucking saying, all right? But, um, I was just like, oh. Why would you want to sleep with that? But then again, you know, like I said, to each his fucking own, okay? But um, that was cute. That was cute. And everything was going good at the party. Everything was going great at the party. <laughs> We're going to pause it right there. We're just going to go over here to this van storyline. Ben was out here with his daughter. And he was like, what's going on? How's school doing and everything? Y'all know school started out here in Chicago today. You know, the public school started uh, yesterday, actually, on Tuesday. And I work at the library. So I was like, you know, the kids was fine yesterday. Bitch, the motherfuckers came back up into this uh, fucking uh, library today. And they must have lost their goddamn mind. Okay, they must have gave them sugar at school or whatever. And you know, it's the... It's the... um. Junior junior kids, okay? They probably in like the 6th, 7th, 8th grade or whatever. They feel in their little steeds now, okay? They feel like they, you know, they important and they can do this and they can talk this way. They getting a little old and shit. And I said, bitch, the fuck not. They came up in there all fucking loud and shit. How do you get kicked out the library the second day of school started? You couldn't even last a fucking week, okay? And your ass got kicked the fuck out. And I mean, it was a crowd of them. I said, bitch, y'all come to this goddamn library every fucking day. For a few years, you've been coming here. You know the rules and the regulations. So you really thought y'all was feeling y'all selves and all this shit because you're a little old and shit. Oh, bitch, I'm in the seventh grade. Oh, bitch, I'm in the eighth grade. I'm going to go to high school. You ain't grown, bitch, okay? Sit your little ass down and shut the fuck up or take that shit outside, all right? But, you know, that was my day today. I was just sitting there on the desk like this. I be over it by the time, time for them kids come. I was just be like, listen, keep me in the back because I'm going to slap on one of them. You know, you're not supposed to be um putting your hands on people's kids, but these kids make you want to pop the shit out of them, like... I just want to drag the motherfuckers like they they grown. That's how y'all act. But anyway, what was I talking about? Van's daughter. So, you know, he was like, you talking about some boys. He was like, oh, no, I don't like no boys. But there's some boys that like me, but I don't like them because they, um, why not? Because they some H's. I said, what is H? He was like, what the fuck this H is? No, low key. I did thought she was saying, for some reason, I, a homosexual came into my mind. I don't know why. It just happened, okay? Maybe she knew something we didn't. Don't judge me, okay? I'm pretty sure it probably popped up somewhere else, too, in somebody else's mind. I know I'm not, uh, lot, not alone. But <laughs> she was like, they're a bad word that I can't say. He said, oh, so they some hoes. And I was sitting here like, 
Ho is a bad word, and she can't say it. Look at this. You know, y'all teach the kids some, certain words that they're not supposed to say that we be growing up and was saying, like, that ain't no curse word. Somebody told me, damn, I, I, they can't say damn. They don't say ho. They don't say um, hell and shit like that. I said, well, bitch, what the fuck do you say? You know, I can't be around people that's just so sensitive like that. Like, and, and, and then you looking at me like, man, your mouth so goddamn vulgar. You damn right it is. You too fucking clean to be around me, okay? Damn. I need some filth in my life, all right? And you ain't providing enough of it, okay? If I want to be clean, I go to sleep, bitch. But anyway, um... <laughs> It was cute. It was cute, they little interaction. I, I, I liked it. I mean, it was going over her little report card. He was like, A, 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 B minus, B, B, F. I said, girl, what you get an F in? F in physical education. I said, bitch, wait a goddamn minute. I ain't talking about the little girl, but I'm just saying bitch in general. Girl, what? How you get an F in physical education? He, she said... Because I'm sitting here trying to figure it out when I seen it on the preview of the commercial break. And when when they said, coming up next. And she was like, F and fe- uh, uh, P.E. I said, well, shit. You know, I'm a- P.E. was funny. Shit, I passed P.E. from grade school to high school. Well, hey, all them years, okay? We had fun in P.E. Uh, I, I, I really didn't fuck with swimming like that. You know, but I still had a good time. You know, when we had gymnastics and shit, we was doing round dogs and shit. We was doing splits and shit. You know, we was just playing around, fucking around. We do the little square dance and shit, you know. Oh, when we got in high school, you know, we got a little fancy and shit. We was doing archery and all that stuff for a few weeks. I was like, eee, shit, bitch, you know. We was having fun. I said, bitch, we do that. You know, we was doing volleyball and basketball and shit like that. We had fucking fun up in PE, okay? I loved it, you know. Um, But she was like, I didn't want to go swimming because I ain't want to get my hair wet. I said, bitch, put a swim cap on. But I said... His daughter gave the blackest fucking response, excuse, for not getting into that water, okay? For not fulfilling P.E. And that is an excuse that she's going to use for the rest of her life because she is a black woman. And black women especially, we don't like to get our hair wet if we don't need to. I said, girl, wrap that shit up, all right? You know, well, when were you having P.E.? Now, see, it'd be good if you was having P.E. your first class of the day, you know what I'm saying? All you had to do was wake up, keep your hair wrapped up, you know, um, put on a couple of swim caps, and then you'll be out to the fucking good. And then, you know, let that shit flow out when you finish, you know what I'm saying? But I get you, I get you, because sometimes these swim caps be fraudulent as fuck, okay? She was like, since Jen ain't here, you know, um... I don't have nobody to braid my hair. And she used to braid my hair all the time. So if now Van sitting here like, damn, you know, she ain't been here for a minute. And I'm just now realizing how, you know, my breakup with Jen is affecting not just me, but um, my daughter and everything. I said, bitch, you thought the, she been in her life since she was, what, six, seven years old? What you think, nigga? Like, come on, Van, stop being so damn dumb. But girl, that is not an excuse, okay? That is not an excuse. Your daddy got money, and he can take you to the store to get your hair done each and every fucking time, okay? Stop playing. Stop playing. All you have to do is open up your mouth and tell your daddy, I need to go get my hair braided because we are having swim class, and that is what you needed to do, okay? That is not an excuse, Missy. I'm just telling you that because if you were to bring home an F, wait until my sister. I know she's going to bring home some bad grades when she get in high school. I already fucking know it. I know it. I'm going to be. Uh, I'm gonna get some text messages from my mama like this little motherfucker. I was like, yep, yep. It's always the last one. They want to fuck up. Want to fuck up. But um, anyway, moving on from me, uh, from that, we get this shit with fucking Lily and Cobra. Y'all know they stand in the same place, right? Cobra offered to let her stay until she find her something to stay at, you know, and that was generous of her because Cobra didn't have to do that. And part of the motivation, you can't tell me, was because Cobra is attracted to Lily. All right, Cobra is still trying to figure out these lesbian streaks out here, you know, um, and, 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 and get her steez on. You know what I'm saying? But her and Cobra, I mean, her and Lily, they click clacking up in there. And they being real cool with each other. And, you know, she feeling like we got a bond and all this stuff. And they do the little montage because she was sitting down on the, ta- on the couch and they was talking. 
So, <laughs> what type of dick she like? You got good dick, small dick, big dicks, curved dick. Charmaine says she like curved dicks. You know Beyonce like curved dick too, cause Jay Z, he hooked. But um, anyway, that means that bitch loves fucking adventure because y'all be out here fucking curved dicks. All right, knock your uterus all out of fucking shape. All right, you know I'm just. So I heard, cause I ain't never, but bitch, I just imagine that's y'all like adventure. Okay, but um, circumcised, uncircumcised, and all this shit. I heard some stuff about uncircumcised penis. Y'all really gotta pull the skin back, and this stuff be up in. Girl, let's discuss in the comments. Tell this gay bitch something, cause I be wanting to know. Like, is that what? It's too much. It's too fucking much to go through. Damn. But um, anyway. She was like, you know, talking about what she like and all that stuff. And next thing you know, she was going into a daze because Cobra was, uh, Lily was asking Cobra, so what type of women you like? You know, thin ones, skinny ones, thick ones, this one, that one. And Cobra is over there, or at least they trying to make it seem like she over here daydreaming about how they getting along in the house. And, you know, at one point they showing this little montage, you know, joking around, you know, playing, I'm talking, you know, um, Lily in the bathroom, taking a shower. And I'm sitting here like, so did Lily know that Cobra was in that shower, you know, was in the bathroom watching her? Because it just felt very creep-ish, okay? I said, girl, you standing there like you ain't never seen tits and ass and puss in your life, okay? I mean, in your face, face, like you was literally just standing there like this. I said, girl, that's, work on that. Work on that. That's why you ain't got no bitch right now on this show, okay? Work on that. You need to work on that. But, um, anyway, moving on from that. So, she talking, and then Cobra was like, so if you, let's play fuck, marry, kill, okay? You can't fuck, um, Junior because, for the people in the shop, because you, um, already fucked him. So, let's go. She said she'll kill Charmaine because Charmaine is bad shit crazy. Understandable, okay? You probably fuck that bitch and then she just won't stop, okay? She just keep coming around, keep coming around and um, put some chicken blood in your soup. You just know, no. And so, she said she will marry Junior and then fuck Cobra. I said, bitch, why you say that? Because... And my Forest Rock say, why you say that? Because, bitch, Cobra got that shit up in her mind that she got a chance. I said, girl, no. And it, it is like, who sending mixed signals to who? Okay? And I really don't feel like Lily is trying to sing her, send her mixed signals. It's just that Cobra is interpreting it wrong. Because, you know, like she said when Lily was like, come on, girl. I'm finna, um, you know, paint you naked or whatever. She was just saying, I don't give a fuck how big you are, how small you are. You got courage. You got thickness. Embrace that you're a beautiful girl and all that stuff. And I was like, come through, Lily. I was with her for the courage of words, okay? Because sometimes you need to hear that shit. You need to uplift, uplift your spirits because, you know, motherfuckers try to get you down because of your weight and think that you can't pull niggas or bitches and you be like, I pull more than you can. But, you know, do that shit. Cobra sitting on there in that sheet. I said, thank God. And she was like, you know, um, when I was growing up, I used to hang with the boys more because motherfuckers used to make, um, make fun of my weight and say, how come you're not skinny like your sister? And if only you lose weight, you'll be prettier and all this stuff. I said, okay, the classic, you know, bullied and all that stuff because you was a fat bitch. That's understandable. And so I'm sitting here like, so because Lily is actually, you know, giving you encouragement and not bullying you or not saying nothing about your weight, is that why all of a sudden you thinking like maybe it can be more? No, girl. No, girl. I mean, if you got Lily drunk enough, that bitch probably would have let you go down on her or she would have just went on down and started going to Chinatown on yours too. You know what I'm saying? You know, numb your whole right. And... I'm just sitting here like, girl, let that shit go because she is in a relationship with Junior. Junior comes over. Mind you, Junior has a key. I said, wait a fucking minute. You are a guest. We didn't hear them discuss nothing about her paying rent and all this stuff and putting in on the utilities and shit like that for you to give Junior a fucking key without Cobra knowing. Mind you, Cobra's name is on the lease, okay? She's on the apartment agreement. She the one that's responsible for anything that gets down or get fucked up. Cobra is. So, of course, she's going to be looking like, what the fuck? Cobra said, okay, I'm about to leave and give y'all y'all a little time since y'all ignoring the fuck out of me anyway. And it was like, okay, fine. Cobra steps out for a goddamn second and come back and she sees Lily and Junior about to get it in on the kitchen counter. 
I don't like it when I see people putting their asses on counters in general. So you're going to fuck on a counter? Let it be your counter. Okay, because that's some rude ass shit. And Cobra called her ass out on it. And I'm just sitting here like, I can understand if Cobra was actually fucking gone. Okay, I don't care if she was in her room, bitch. No, she has to be completely out and y'all snuck a fuck in on the counter and then you cleaned that bitch afterwards. That's one thing, but she was still in the goddamn place that she's paying for. And you gonna do that shit and then y'all take that shit over there to the damn shop and it's still lingering in the air. Cobra, let me tell you something. You have every right to be upset and, um, you know, feeling the way about her trying to fuck on the counter. It's just a respect thing, okay? It's a respect thing regardless. Like she said, your room door is right there. You could have went right there in the fucking room. It wasn't nothing, all right? But to be sitting there in that shop when everybody's having a good time and you just standing there looking at her and um, Junior doing a little PD gag and kissing, even though that was disgusting as hell, okay, for some reason it was just turning my stomach a little bit because it was doing a little bit much, but I didn't really have a problem with it, and I'm just sitting here looking at Cobra, maybe it was the camera and what they was trying to make you look like, but you look pressed as shit, all right, you look like a creeper, every time we seen you, you looking at Lily and all that stuff, yes, be mad and be upset, but don't be standing over there looking like you just mad because this bitch throwing him the puss and not you, because that's what they trying to make it seem like. And I'm pretty sure that's part of the reason, too, why you pissed, too. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. Um. After that, so she was like, bitch, why don't you take a picture? It'll last you longer. It reminds me of two wine food when John Leguizamo said that. <laughs> what you looking at? Why don't you take a picture? It'll last you longer when they was walking into that hotel. <laughs> I love that fucking movie. You know, my dad is very homophobic but he had them we got that movie from his house and it was very much watched i always wonder about that but um question for another day so after they do all that shit cobra do tell her let's go in um room and talk she was saying bitch i'm fucking pissed at you for doing that shit because you ain't even apologize on all this shit they get into a fucking argument see that's why you can't do no shit like that that's probably why your cousin kicked you out because you doing this and you doing that next thing you know i don't know who launched that who but cobra did have lily in the um headlock or whatever but lily was drunk as shit when the security came in and broke them up and, and, and they were still holding them back or whatever lily you could just see she drunk because she was like so what you gonna do bitch i don't give a fuck how big your ass is bitch i fucking beat your ass bitch come on charge at me bitch i said you can't even stand up straight stop that shit all right stop it we knew this shit wasn't gonna work and ryan knew that shit wasn't gonna work either okay but um that was black and crew the mid-season summer finale will be on next week and then we get a little break and then it'll be back whenever it be back so y'all tell me how y'all feel about this and i will see you guys later on tonight for green leaf Peace.